definition of composting is high temperature decomposition of organic materials. The high temperature is very important because the high temperature allows for the compost to be transformed into humus, the material that's in soil that makes black, that's good stuff. A key thing to everybody understand is with composting is a nice diversity of feedstock material to go into your compost. Any organic kitchen scrap is fantastic. Grass clippings can be very good as well. Both of those will add nitrogen to your compost and they're both easily degradable. Then we need something that is going to bulk, or we call a bulking agent to the compost. It's going to be in larger particles and it's going to help aerate the compost to okay, give it some structure. So that's where our yard waste and trimmings come from, either from your vegetable garden, from um, twigs uh, as well, and leaves. And then we want to make sure we got some water. And you don't want too much water and we don't want too little water. You want to be able to pick up that material. It should be dark in color. If you squeeze it, you don't want to see a whole bunch of dripping water coming out of there. Okay? And if it's very light in color, um, it's probably too dry. If the compost smells, like it's rotting, it's likely the chance that there's probably too much uh, uh, water in there. So there's a lack of aeration. The other key thing with composting is to turn it. And that's where we often go wrong at home. So we don't turn the compost frequently enough or we don't even turn it at all. So we want high temperature and the only way to get the high temperature is by mixing the compost. How often do you mix it? Uh, it depends. I mix mine twice a year. And the other thing is, um, what I really like to do is always screen my material, screen my compost. So I just have a mesh screen and I pass the compost when I think it's matured and finished uh, high temperature and finished decomposing and it looks like soil, smells like soil. I pass it through a screen and the bigger particles stay out and then the nice fine stuff comes in and that's really easy then to spread onto my grass and so forth.